In this week's parsha in Beshalach, at the very end, we learn the first time about Yoshua bin Nun. Actually, he's not called Yoshua bin Nun here. We'll later find out that he's bin Nun. But uh, Moshe's student and later leader of Israel, Yoshua, is mentioned for the first time here. So he came from the tribe of Ephraim, and we learn from Zivrei Ayamim, the last book of Tanakh, exactly his genealogy, where he came from. And here he is mentioned in the context of the war with Amalek. All of a sudden, the Jewish people are attacked by a certain, apparently, Bedouin tribe, uh, some kind of a, a tribe that, for some reason, decided to fight with the Jewish people. And Moshe tells Yoshua to be the actual general in this war. And uh, interestingly, um, Yoshua is already called Yoshua here. One might be tempted to say that he was called Hoshea originally. We learn in the Parshat Shalach uh, Licha, uh, in the book of Bamidbar, that uh, Yoshua was sent by Moshe, who called him, he called his name, the name, uh, uh, his name Yoshua, even though before it was Hoshea. But apparently he was called Hoshea and Yoshua before. Just like here already, the, the name Yoshua is mentioned. A lot of the commentators talk about it. It's interesting also that whenever he's called Bin Nun, he's not called Ben Nun, he's called Bin Nun. Why Bin? Very unusual. Uh, although although there, it, is, it is sometimes uh, found in other places in Tanakh, but the, the person will always be called Bin Nun. Maybe, as Ramban suggests, it has to do with Bina, his uh, great uh, understanding from the word Bina, Bin Nun. Uh, by the way, in one place in Tanakh, he's called Non, not Nun, he's the father of Yeshua. Uh, but here in, in, in the Humash, he's always called Bin Nun. Why was specifically Yeshua chosen to fight Amalek? There are various understandings of this, but one understanding has to do with the fact that he was from Ephraim. It was Rachel's descendants, in fact, Rachel would have descendants who would always be on the forefront of fighting Amalek. At a later time, when Haman, in the times of uh, Queen Esther, when Haman wanted to destroy us, it was also Esther and Mordechai, who come from Binyamin, also come from Rachel, that were fighting Haman. And in the end of days, uh, according to some understandings, uh, Mashiach ben Ephraim, a different Mashiach, uh, coming from Ephraim, from the same tribe as Yoshua, would be fighting Amalekites. So this is just an interesting idea that I wanted to mention to you, and if you like this video, uh, please press like. And please subscribe to our channel.